In part 2, we will learn types of testing. The narrator is Zach Thornburg. Content Black box testing White box testing Positive testing Negative testing Static testing Dynamic testing Functional testing Non-functional testing Regression testing Retesting Black box Black box testing is also known as behavioral or eye-to-eye -eye testing. The main focus of black box testing is on the functionality of the system as a whole. It analyzes the functionality of a software or application without knowing much about the internal structure and code of the item. It compares the input value with the output value. It is done from the user's point of view on the front end UI user interface. White box. It is based on the knowledge about the internal logic of an application code. It means that a tester must be well versed with the programming language and the other tools as well as techniques used to develop the software. Positive testing. It is a type of testing which is performed on a software application by providing the valid data sets as an input. It is done to make sure that the software application behaves as expected with positive inputs. Positive testing is performed in order to check whether the software application does exactly what it is expected to do according to the requirements. Negative testing. Negative testing is a software testing type used to check the software application for unexpected input data and conditions. Unexpected data or conditions can be anything from wrong data type to strong hacking attack. The purpose of negative testing is to prevent the software application from crashing due to negative inputs and improve the quality and stability. Static testing. Static testing is a type of testing which is executed without any code. The execution will be performed on the documentation during the testing phase. It involves reviews, walkthroughs, and inspection of the deliverables of the project. Static testing does not execute the code. Instead, the code syntax is checked. It is done to prevent bugs, inconsistency, and bigwity on early stage. Dynamic testing. Dynamic testing is a software testing method used to test the dynamic behavior of software code. Dynamic testing is when you are working with the actual system by providing an input and comparing the actual behavior of the application to the expected behavior. In other words, working with the system with the intent of finding errors. The main purpose of the dynamic test is to ensure consistency to the software. Functional testing. The purpose of functional tests is to test each function of the software application by providing appropriate input, verifying the output against the functional requirements. Functional testing mainly involves black box testing and it is not concerned about the source code of the application. This testing checks user interface, APIs, database, security, client-server communication, and other functionality of the application under test. The testing can be done either manually or using automation. Non-functional testing. It is a type of software testing to check non-functional aspects of a software application. For instance, performance, usability, reliability, load testing, stress testing, security, volume, and recovery testing. One of the objectives of non-functional testing is to ensure whether the response time of software or application is quick enough as per the business requirement. Regression testing. Regression testing is a full or partial selection 
of already executed test cases which are re-executed to ensure existing functionalities work fine. This testing is done to make sure that new code changes should not have side effects on the existing functionalities. It ensures that the old code still works once the latest code changes are done. Retesting. Retesting is a process to check specific test cases that are found with bugs in the final execution. After testers find bugs while testing the software application, they assign it to the developers to fix it. Then the developers fix the bugs and assign it back to the testers for verification. This continuous process is called retesting.